I'm sure all of you all must have come across the word surgical oncology. For those who have not yet encountered this particular terminology, to make it real simple, surgical oncology also means cancer surgery. Cancer, a disease which has been looming over mankind for thousands of years together. In fact, we also know that the earliest depictions in historical reviews pertaining to cancer surgery date way back to 5000 BC, an era when there were no hospitals, no surgeons, no trained doctors, yet cancer surgery was being performed. So let's try to understand what do you mean by surgical oncology? What are the various types of oncological surgical procedures which are being carried out? And how has science actually played a major role in improving the lives of our humanity? I, Dr. Raj Nagarkar, I am the Chief of Surgical Oncology and Robotic Services at HCG Manavata Cancer Center, Nasik, Maharashtra. We know that when it comes to cancer, the first thing which comes to our mind is a tumor. 95% of cancers present in the form of tumor or a swelling. However, there are about 4-5% to of cancers which do not present as tumors, which we call as fluid cancers or also blood cancers. It also includes tumors like lymphomas. Today, I would like to restrict myself to those 95% solid tumors. When I was doing my surgical oncology training at the esteemed Tata Memorial Hospital, it's almost about more than two decades ago, it was an era of open surgery, meaning any tumor, be it in the oral cavity, in the breast, in the lungs, esophagus, or in the abdomen and the organs, one needed to remove the tumor by doing an open surgery, which involved opening up of the up patients that part which has to be operated upon and removing the tumor using your hands and certain instruments. The biggest advantage of this was what we call as a tactile feedback. The surgeon has the ability to feel the tumor, feel the tissues, differentiate with his bare hands the difference between the tumor part and the normal tissues. However, as science evolved, and we realized that cancer surgery need not be always mutilating and very radical. Radical in the sense, for example, breast cancer surgery. It was an era that if a lady has a breast tumor which has been diagnosed to be cancerous, then the only treatment which was offered was removal of the entire breast along with all the lymph nodes in the axilla because the entire focus was on tackling and attacking the tumor in the area where it has presented. So this was usually an organ sacrificing era of surgical oncology. Same was true for oral cancers. If there's a cancer in the oral cavity, then you remove that part of the oral cavity. However, subsequently we realized that it was not necessary to do such a radical local surgery because the focus was shifting from local control to having a long-term overall survival of the patients. Cancer, though it presents in one part, it has systemic or has effects on the entire body. Hence, we shifted towards organ preservation surgery. Organ preservation surgery meaning breast cancer, no need to remove the entire breast. In those patients where there is a localized tumor, you address only that small part of the breast area. Same when it comes to removing all the lymph nodes, no need of removing all the axillary lymph nodes. We have a technique called a sentinel node biopsy, wherein only the affected nodes are removed. Obviously, we are doing an optimum surgical procedure, ensuring that the patient would be free from cancer. At the same time, we are avoiding unnecessary surgery unnecessary sacrifice of the normal tissues is avoided. This was an era of organ preservation surgery. Similarly, thanks to technology, wherein good camera, vision, endoscopes came into the surgical arena. So, world shifted towards minimal invasive surgery. Minimal invasive surgery meaning that you can achieve the same goal 
without opening up of the abdomen. So you can put in small endoscopes along with small 5 millimeter of ports into the chest cavity or into the abdominal cavity of patients and actually you can see things better those who have not exposed to minimal invasive surgery many times have a notion or a misconception that are we trying to do something suboptimal rather than opening doing a 12 inches of scar on the patient's abdominal cavity if you are trying to achieve the same thing with a 5 millimeter 3 or 4 scars are we trying to do something suboptimal but factually it is not you tend to see things better you tend to do almost a equivalent or even a better jobs at time and you ensure that the patient recovers from the surgical trauma at a shorter span of time this endoscopic revolution actually made the lives of patient very very comfortable as we have recently seen if the chandrayaan can be launched onto the moon when all the isro scientists are sitting in india and manipulating and taking care of that chandrayaan same thing also started in the surgical arena around two decades ago that was an era of robotic surgery Whereas the surgeon is not directly in contact with the patient but is sitting on a console at some distance away from the patient and using his hands he actually manipulates the robot to the patient and the surgeon's benefit. The biggest advantage of robotic surgery is now you have the luxury of seeing a magnified image you can see as much as 10 times of magnified image of the patient's internal organs along with the three-dimensional image so a 3d image with a magnification obviously changed the table altogether robotic surgery has been a revolution because mainly you can now perform surgeries with minimal blood loss minimal tissue injury and obviously less pain for the patient Again, underlining the significant fact that we are not compromising on the surgical principles as such. Nowadays, all our surgeries are performed using electrocautery or laser gadgets. I'm sure most of us come across our Bollywood movies where we see the hero who is either a surgeon or a part of a surgical team operating using knives and scissors and there's blood which is being spread all around the screen that era has gone now we hardly operate with a scissor or a knife it's an era of using electrocautery or all these advanced energy devices these energy devices actually reduce the blood loss significantly I remember two decades ago when I was a resident when it used to be a liver surgery or a liver resection the junior most member of the surgical team his only job was to run between the blood bank and the operating room to manage all the blood products it used to be five bottles ten bottles at times 15 bottles also nowadays the blood loss in liver surgery is less than 50 ml sometimes even just 5 to 10 ml of blood loss all this thing is possible only and only because of technology and as long as we accept and adapt to the technology it is going to grow and it is going to be benefit of mankind as the head of the surgical oncology team at hcg manavta cancer center i think it's a proud privilege for me that at nasik in the last 15 years, we have been trusted upon by more than 106,000 cancer patients. We have performed more than 45,000 cancer surgeries. And we have evolved ourselves from the era of open surgery to endoscopic surgery to laparoscopic surgery. And now in the last three and a half years, close to 940 plus robotic assisted surgeries. Is it the scenario where we have reached a stage that nothing more can be explored obviously not in us there's a smart tissue autonomous robot also called as a star robot which is under clinical research and under clinical provisions of guidance where we are looking forward to a scenario that there would be a time at some point in history where the robot can perform the surgery independently 
Obviously, the surgeon is not going to be driven out of his professional business. He is going to be involved in judgment and understanding about the disease pathology and doing the port placements. But at the same time, the way artificial intelligence is actually entering into our doorsteps sooner than we anticipated, we look forward to an era where artificial intelligence and robotic surgery will make mankind much happier and healthier in the years to come. Thank you very much.